In this video, I'm going to touch on how to backup Kodi slash XBMC with the backup add-on to a network drive. This is actually a very easy process. What you want to do first is make sure that you have your drive maps to your Windows install or your OS X install, whatever OS you're using. To check if you're doing so within Windows, just open up your file explorer, look under your network drives, and this is the one I'm going to save to. As you can see my path here, I have uh, my network attached storage drive under network, my name, and then just the, the file where I'm going to be specifying where to save these. So within Kodi, you don't have to go into System and File Manager. All you have to do is go to Programs, Get More, and go ahead and grab your backup add-on. Now I've already installed this. Some of the settings are going to be in place, but I'm going to go through it again. So as you can see, I've already shown you that network drive is connected to Windows. You can make this happen even if it's not connected to Windows. So on backup, hit C, add on settings. So that's the actual path I'm going to use. I'll show you how that shows up here in a second. There's Dropbox. So type path. So if you know your internal IP address, you can actually do this without having your network tech storage drive or whatever your network storage drive that you want to back up your install to connect it to your OS. It's just easier to have it connected. But if you know that path, um, outside of it then you don't need to have it connected but if it is connected again you don't need to go to file manager earlier all you do is browse remote path here and it will take you right here and you want to go to Windows Network SMB this is my network tech storage and then my name and all I'm doing here is navigating to the folder I already created and it's going to create the backup right inside of here I always use compress archives if you don't have a zip program, I probably wouldn't do this, but all that does is zip it up. Uh, backups to keep zero for all, so <laughs> this is going to use a ton of memory, so I would just whittle it down to 10. I run mine manually, but you can schedule your backups. You can also select which files specifically. The default files are pretty solid. Uh, from here, you just go to OK, so I have the drive mapped, and then just click Enter or whatever on there, and back up and it's going to back it up to that folder already specified which is right here with that path so that's how you take care of that again extremely easy give me a holler if you have any questions